Hello everyone, Helen here. Welcome to my Mousy Makes podcast. Hi, uh, very welcome, whether you're just quite new or if you've been coming along for a while. Uh, this is my place where I just chat on about all the creative things that I do and the things that I think about and various other things as well. <laughs> quite a mixture of things. And um, in case you haven't met me before, I live in Durham in the northeast of England and I'm a part-time piano teacher, I teach from home, but most of the time I spend making things, including podcasts. <laughs> so, well, I I'm not planning this to be a very long podcast today um, because as I record this, it's very nearly the 1st of December. And what does that mean? means vlogmas. Vlogmas is about to start. Uh, but I have got one or two other things to share with you today so I just thought I'd pop in for a little while and have a chat and also hopefully get you in the mood for Christmas with a bit of Christmassy piano music. Uh, so um, yes first of all vlogmas. Uh, yeah I think in the truest sense of the word vlog vlogmas means that you do a little video every day of Advent, so up to right up to Christmas Eve, just to kind of record a video diary of everything that you're doing to um, to prepare for Christmas. And I love watching Vlogmases. I love to see what everybody's up to. Uh, but my Vlogmases are not then strictly a video diary. Uh, I would say they're probably more like a, a video Advent calendar in that each day that you, you, it's like opening up a door and you don't know what you're going to find inside. And my thinking behind it is just to have a little bit of Christmas magic each day and maybe you might get an idea for something you might like to make um, for Christmas, something Christmassy. Uh, I don't want to say much more than that. I will say that if you have enjoyed my Enchanted Forest stories, you might yeah that, that might uh, you might enjoy vlogmas and really they're they're aimed at anybody of any age really there's some something for everybody i hope and they're only going to be very short they're just kind of four to five minutes each day so i'm hoping that you're going to have time to pop in and uh see me each day with a little surprise every day and once christmas is over i'm going to show you how I uh, created my Vlogmas videos. I've been sort of videoing my process of making it along the way because I've spent absolutely hours. I think I started planning it uh, probably back in July or August and really been working on it, working on it since then for certain things. I can't really say too much otherwise I'll give things away. Um, but it's been more intensive the last few a uh, few days or yeah weeks I suppose <laughs> yeah anyway anyway I really really hope you're going to enjoy Vlogmas
So I thought I would share with you a few of the treats that I've got to look forward to during December in the run-up to Christmas. Uh, a few things I've been kind of gathering together and uh, yeah, ready to ready to start using in December. And the first one is this um, advent calendar, which I saw advertised somewhere and just couldn't resist. It's called uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas advent calendar and once you see Vlogmas, that will make sense as to why I just couldn't resist buying that. Um, so it's a 3D house that will be gradually filled up with Christmassy, little Christmassy um, cardboard cutouts as each day of December goes by. Uh, I really enjoyed pushing all the pieces out, uh, but that was the easy part. Um, when I pushed out all the little tiny pieces, which are going to be fitted into the house each day of Advent, uh, I put them all safely into a box because I think otherwise they're just going to get lost. So so they're safely in their box. I definitely had a bit of difficulty assembling the pieces, not because it was complicated, uh, but because it was really hard to fit, fit the pieces of the house together. It was just, the I don't know, the holes are only just big enough and I just couldn't get it to stay together. So in the end, I had to resort to uh, a few pieces of washi tape <clears throat> to stop the house falling down. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to looking for the little piece that I need to add to the house each day. So it's all set up ready on the top of my piano and I even added some little Christmassy lights too. And I've got three uh, exciting boxes to look forward to as well. Uh, the first which you can see me opening here for the first time is a winter journaling kit which I bought on Etsy from Rachel of So Ray Me. I'll put the details in the description box. Uh, she also does a really really lovely podcast. It's filled with all sorts of journaling goodies as well as a small journal and I'm really delighted with it. I'll definitely be showing you what I do with it. Um, the idea is that it's not just a Christmassy thing, but something that's got a winter feel to it. So you can, you know, you can make a little winter journal. So I think that's probably what I'll do. here which haven't yet been opened I'm resisting the temptation to open them uh, this one is still sealed that's still sealed this one I did open and then I just didn't lift the wrapping inside so this one is a Christmas Eve crochet box that I bought from Jeanette of Crafty Clegg Creations 
and as it says it's for Christmas Eve so I am planning to save that until Christmas Eve and I know I'm going to have a really nice little project to to work on uh, yeah so I'm just excited to open that so thank you Jeanette for that lovely idea uh, and I, of course I will show you what, what what I find inside after Christmas and then the other box here is um it's a Christmas box. It's not a, a Christmas, it's not an advent calendar kind of box where you have something to open each day. Uh, there, there are a few things in. The idea is that you just open one, every, you know, every few days in the run up to Christmas. And this is actually from um, Rachel of So Ray Me, uh, where I bought the winter journaling kit. So I've never had any kind of Christmas uh, box before, never had an advent calendar with yarn in it or anything it's something that's still fairly new to me but I think I think that'll be really nice and I, and I will of course show you what's inside those once I've opened them I'm being very good so far forward to in December is joining in with the uh, mystery gnome knit along and I have my yarn in here which uh, hopefully I'll show you a picture of now. Another pattern by the famous gnome knitting designer Sarah Shearer of Ill Imagined Landscapes and uh, yeah so my bag is ready with its nice Christmassy colours of yarn and that's going to be um, really exciting. I've loved doing the last gnome knit along and this one has got a you know a Christmassy uh, theme to it and there's going to be a, a clue or in other words a little part of the pattern is going to be released on each day of December up to the 24th of December and yeah that's exciting something else exciting to look forward to. Honestly there are so many things that you can join in with in the run-up to Christmas you have to Kind of hold yourself back sometimes and um, you know there's only so many uh, things that you can do. Last year, I don't know if you remember if you were watching me then, uh, I decided to knit the advent balls that were designed by Arna and Carlos and I did like making them. Well, it was, I don't know, it was a bit of a commitment doing one of those every day of advent. I did manage it though. Um, anyway, so so I think this gnome will be nice, and then my few other bits and bobs that I've got to um, to to do my boxes there to open and things. So that'll be really nice. And as for other making, yeah, nearly all of the making I'm doing um, it is for gifts for people. Uh, and I did though, just I might have just cast on another bear. Yes, hopefully you can see. Yes, another tutu bear. Couldn't resist. I decided I'd like to have one that uh, looked a bit more Christmassy. And this one is going to be a little girl. And I think I have got to knit her a Christmas jumper. So that is my plan, that this little bear will be a little girl with Christmas jumper. And of course, I will share that with you sometime. Uh, well, it'll probably be after Christmas now. Uh, so I'm going to finish off with a little bit more Christmas piano. Um, one of the things that I do when I'm in the run up to Christmas, apart from all of the making and other preparations that there are to do, is to practice the piano lots. I play lots and lots of Christmas music. Uh, the piano uh, just gives me a really happy feeling in uh, 
about Christmas because it's always been a Christmas tradition of ours that on Christmas Eve, whichever family are around, uh, get together and we sing around the piano. And we've done that for as long as I can remember, for as long as I've played the piano at least. Uh, I was the one at the piano and me encouraging everybody, even the reluctant singers, to have a bit of a Christmas sing song. And I was trying to think recently of uh, which were my favourite carols. There definitely are some that I like more than others. And uh, yes, it was one of one of my lovely viewers, Shari, who lives in Ohio. So hello, Shari. Uh, she was asking me um, what my favourite carols were. So I think you'll have heard some of them today, uh, but oh, the, the list is endless. I just, it would be really hard to whittle it down uh, to, a, to a very small number. So anyway, um, I, I don't really mind any kind of Christmas song, uh, you know, sitting at the piano singing, lovely. So I'm just going to finish off with, with a little bit more Christmas piano and I will see you my next podcast will be after christmas my, my, my next proper chatty podcast will be after christmas and i hope that you are going to join me in vlogmas every day and have a little bit of fun with what i've uh, been getting ready for you so i'm going to say goodbye now and then leave you with with a bit of piano so take care of yourself I'm certain that you're probably keeping yourself very busy <laughs> this time of year. Uh, most of us are extremely busy and I will look forward to seeing you again next time. OK, so take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.